And then this snake sort of moved and fell off, and the snake fell past me. It was a really big snake. It's Research-wise, um, I'm interested in trying to understand the very details of chemical reactions. I've always been interested in actually how things happen. So when people told me, you know, this reacts with this, I sort of thought, why? And how do we know? And so just trying to really keep looking at things at a more and more fundamental level. Yeah, well, working with lasers sounds desperately fun, but it actually... You know, lasers don't work a lot of the time, so it's really frustrating. No, it is. You know, you've got to keep fixing stuff, and you've got to keep going, and you do have those five days a year when everything does work, and then you get something really new and original. I had a very good friend who, Williams, the Grand Prix team, were just starting to use carbon fibre in race cars then, and he worked for Williams. And so he brought home, or whatever, along these bits of carbon fibre. And now, of course, carbon fibre sticks, everyone plays with it, but this was really revolutionary at the time. So we made ourselves some carbon fibre shim pads because these were going to make, yeah we weren't great hockey players, weren't going to make any difference to us, but they were really very good. I, I don't play hockey anymore, but I've got an old hockey stick that I did rebuild under here is original Williams carbon fibre and it really, yeah, it was a good thing at the time. And now of course, yeah, we should, what we should have done of course is painted in some carbon fibre bits and pieces and I wouldn't be an academic anymore, I'd be rich. So yeah, we used to try and set this carbon fibre in our kitchen, it made horrible smells got bits of it all over the floor and our landlord didn't like it. Then I went to America for postdoc and I was in Colorado for two years, which again was really good fun because I worked in a really big group that had loads of money. And so in Oxford, it was me and my PhD supervisor. If we wanted anything new, we built it. And so I got quite good at electronics and things like that. But in America, was where we just bought it. So in Colorado, yeah, I really like the outdoors. In Colorado, if you like the outdoors, it's just a fantastic place to be. So, um, yeah, I don't, living in London, I'm, I don't really choose to go to cities unless I have some obvious reason to do it. So I like to go out in the outdoors where you can get away from people. I go with my wife, yeah, she's a, she's a good climber. So um, it's a good test of your relationship if you can climb together and not shout at each other too much. So we were climbing in Spain last Christmas and Kath was ahead of me and she was sort of hesitating before going up onto this ledge and I sort of, Shadow, what on earth are you doing? What on earth are you doing? Get up on the ledge, come on, we need to go on the ship. There's a very big snake on the ledge. I'm not going on the ledge. I said, oh, come on, it's only a snake, it's only a snake. And then this snake sort of moved and fell off, and the snake fell past me. It was a really big snake. So I was surprised she was really, she really doesn't like snakes. I was surprised she was so calm. We did have words at there, so I was, yeah, so much. But our relationship has survived quite a lot of climbing. You're doing a good lecture still gives you a bit of that, a lot of that. I really remember you spinning some people around on chairs. Yeah, yeah. You went there the year I did the bucket of water. <laughs> I did a bucket of water trying to demonstrate, you know, the fact you need to apply force to get something. So I had a bucket of water, filled it and span it with a bit of rope. And it works really well. And, and then it hit the desk and the water went everywhere and soaked the front row. So I've never had the nerve to do that again, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like demos. I think it's called a lecture theatre because part of it's meant to be a bit theatrical. And we've lost a little bit of that, perhaps, where it's just PowerPoint and people reading their notes. I'm embarrassed by Brexit. And we didn't approach the emotional argument about um, why we should remain. And I felt, you know, I had to go to an editorial board in Europe afterwards, and we didn't talk about it. I was just quizzed for a couple of hours by my colleagues over there about why on earth did this happen. And, you know, I could try and explain why it is, and that's what happened. So I, I really, I felt disappointed. and. I'm balanced personally that other people didn't see the values of being in Europe. The great thing about science is you don't worry about boundaries. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I feel European. So there's a thing about equations that um, if you derive something and it's beautiful, then you know it's right. And there's something, yeah, you know, when you just do something and you look at it and it just looks right and you feel it. Now, of course, you have to prove that it is, but sometimes there is a, that sort of feeling. I don't like this picture of scientists as totally dispassionate automatons just following the scientific method. Big innovative science is often people who are brave and take a big step and think about something that's new or whatever. So I think there's a lot of sort of creativity, particularly in science. I was involved in setting up the BAS, so yeah. So we've just graduated two years worth of students with the same science as chemistry now. 
It's a complementary program to people who just come through and do science. Well, I also like that there's a big emphasis on languages, so you have to do languages all the way through. Things were much easier for my generation in many ways. So I do feel, you know, it's much harder now. But if you can do what you enjoy, and take if you've got a chance to do something you might never get a chance to do again, you know, do it. Yeah. Sort Great. out the details afterwards would be my advice. Yeah. Hi, um, my name's Steve Feiss. Um I'm a physical chemist, so I've been at UCL for uh, since 1993. So I'm pretty much part of the furniture here. Um, but I've stayed here because it's a, a really good place to be. I sort of build experiments to study the chemistry of atoms and molecules that have a lot of energy, they behave differently. So we build new sort of kit and hopefully find out interesting things. Great. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thanks for your time. I hope there's Thank a you for few your time. seconds or two that are useful. That was so interesting.